What's up, Porsche fanatics? Will here with Renthusiast. I'd like to welcome you to another Porsche 911 owner interview. In this episode, James is going to be taking us through his 1983 Porsche 911 SC Coupe. Two things I really like about this episode. Number one, I really dig his car. He has built it very intentionally to be a driver, so he'll talk to you about that. You know, the second thing I thought was pretty cool is that he reveals to us how much money he has in the car. So I know a lot of you guys out there um, have been very drawn to the episodes that have to do with the, the financial end of owning uh, these cars, so that should be good for you. Before I um, jump into the content, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Just crossed 4,000 subs, trying to get to 10, so why don't you help me out? Along those lines, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps me uh, with the YouTube algorithm. But let's go see what James has to say about the car. So 1983 SC, uh, Dave works, and I have been looking for the last year or so for an air cool for myself. Popped up on Facebook at the exact time that Dave checked his Facebook and it was for sale down in Florida. Uh, it's been down there for 15 years, outside, covered, but outside. Originally a North Carolina car, sold in Asheville to a professor at Elon. He unfortunately passed away and his sister got the car. So I worked a deal out with her and eventually got it shipped up here to Dave's shop, which was, um, fun in itself. It apparently almost fell off the trailer on delivery. I believe the reason I got the car was there were other people ahead of me. There were other people willing to pay more, but what really appealed to the owner was the car being brought back to the Carolinas as it was originally a North Carolina car and me wanting to restore it as opposed to just throw a few thousand dollars into it and, and flip it out the back door. The seller definitely had higher offers, but she liked my vision for the car, which was to restore it, get it back on the road, and not flip it. This was a project car, definitely a 10-footer, um, filled with mold from the Florida swamps. Uh, we've done a lot to it. It is intended to be a driver, and only a driver, so keep that patina on the outside, but we've completely redone the inside with the posh interior, headliner, the Momo wheel, so a little bit at a time. So how long have you had this? Uh, about a year and a half. All right. And so you put miles on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I bought it with 242,000 miles, so it's got a couple thousand more. Uh, has uh, new synchros, the engine's been dropped. SSI heat exchangers. Uh, Dansk dual in, dual out. That was just added. Uh, it's lowered, bit of a race suspension on there. So at the time it had the original Fuchs on it, painted with gold, added the gold accent stripe. Like, do you daily this? Or yeah, like essentially it is my daily. So. <laughs> Uh, that's what I like about it, is I don't really need to worry about the dings and dents. Yep. Um, they're already there. The patina is just perfect. I like, the, I like the fact that the outside's not perfect, but when you get it on the inside, it looks pretty nice. Um, great responses with the um, Pasha. So the intention was, with, you know, based on the price that I paid for this car, I could do essentially anything I wanted to it and not worry about it. I got it for under 20K. There was noise coming out of the back of the engine. When I uh, checked it out, uh, talked with Dave, sent him a video. He assured me it was uh, essentially a chain tensioner, which it was. Um, so that helped with negotiation. But since I've had it, I probably have a total of a little under 40 into it. So it sounds great. It's not the fastest car, obviously, but it can get going. On a, on a good day, you can, uh, when everything's working correctly, it just kind of hums along. My favorite memory would be ripping up the back roads with my daughter uh, on a Saturday morning, all through the North Carolina mountains, and just having fun with it. I like how I can feel the car when I drive it. It's, I don't know, I just like the old cars more just because I get it more of a feel for it. So do you think he'll give this to you? No. 
<laughs> I can try my hardest to get it, but I don't think I'll ever get it. It's a fun car. It's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I don't have any problems making any changes or customizing anything. And it's my dream car. What is the next step mod-wise? Like, we never stop, right? No, no. <laughs> I would say that my next mod would need to be the short shift kit. Okay. The one thing that I really like about this car is it is reliable and it's a lot of fun and it turns a lot of heads. Well, James, thank you so much, man. Thank for you. Thank you a little time with me and uh, can't wait to put this video up on the channel. Appreciate it. Thanks, Will. Yeah. Boom, as you can see, very, very cool car. Uh, I love SCs. I do know that I like to pick one up at some point in time, so definitely cool to hear how much James likes his car. Along those lines, I'm always looking for um, guys or gals who are interested in potentially being featured on the channel. Would love to interview you about your Porsche 911. Uh, I can be reached on Instagram at Renthusiast TV. Uh, so, you know, hit me up there. I'm in North Carolina and I can travel regionally. Appreciate you watching and I hope to see you next time.